<laughs> Perfect. <laughs> What's up grandkids? You know, it's me, Grandma Lucy. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am testing six Halloween TikTok hacks. So let's get into the first hack, shall we? First hack, let's go. Okay, so this is the first hack. It's like basically you put skulls in a jar and fill it with water and then you put some eyeliner in it and then it'll look spooky or whatever. This is what you need. A jar, a lid, a skeleton head. Mine's like really big, so I only need one. Water. I'm not using eyeliner, I'm using acrylic paint. And if you're using acrylic paint, have some paint brushes. First step, put the skull or multiple skulls in the jar. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour water in it. Oh. Oh, mine's floating. Why is mine floating? Okay, it's supposed to stay down, but it's currently not. So, so it's gonna look like that. Now this is what you do. You'll put some acrylic paint in the jar or liquid eyeliner. What happened? Wait. Okay, so if you're doing acrylic paint like me, dip your paintbrush in the acrylic paint. Oh shoot, I, I got, got paint, paint on my nose. nose. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna dab the paint in the water. Oh, okay, it's turning dark, okay. Okay, take the paintbrush out if you're using paint like me. Get your lid, smack dab it down, twist it, voila. You got your skull in a jar, and it looks pretty spooky. The lid doesn't really match. This is how it's supposed to look, I think. I hope it is, so. There you have it. Your spooky, scary skeleton skull in a jar filled with some acrylic paint. <laughs> So here's the TikTok. Okay, so our second hack is basically cockroaches on a toilet. But here's the thing, I don't have cockroaches. So you know what I did? I printed out some cockroaches. I'm not just putting cockroaches on the toilet, I'm also putting them on the inside of a lamp. So like when someone turns on the lamp, they'll see like silhouettes of cockroaches and they'll be like, ah! Oh my god, it's a cockroach. You know, I'm not really following this hack right now. If you want to follow my hack, just go for it. If you want to follow the TikTok hack or whatever, go for it. So this is what you'll need. Print out some cockroaches. You need some tape and you need a scissors. What you're going to do is you're going to cut the cockroaches out. So once you cut out your cockroaches or whatever these bugs are, it's time to tape them. Take a piece of tape, make it into like this little ball thing. Boom, you got a cockroach on a piece of tape. Let's see if this hack works and I'll show you the final product. I'll do a lamp and the toilet. Okay, so here's the toilet. Um, It actually kind of looks pretty decent. Now let's try the lamp. Okay, so this is the lamp. It actually looks pretty real. Okay, let me just say, I did pretty good on this one, but like this one, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so this is the third hack. <laughs> Here's the video right here. It's where you like paint these books and like add like potions, like words, potions. This is what you need. Books, paint. I chose black acrylic paint, a paintbrush. If you have a book sleeve on your book, take off the book sleeve. Then you get your acrylic paint and you paint the book. By the way, I did an Amazon unboxing video and I unboxed this. So if you want to check it out, check it out. You get your big fat paintbrush. Ooh, oh god, now it's time to paint the book. Yay! You're making a spell book. Yeah. And Kid Derek, you're gonna go and read it. Yeah. My sister's painting the other book. Okay, so I painted the book and the other one's drawing that my sister painted. So I was thinking using Sharpie, I am going to write spells. I'm gonna write in the front first and see if you can see it. Oh my god. What the heck? Oh, I got it. What the heck is that? Okay, so I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, so here's the finished product. Shout out to my sister for painting the other book. No. 
Okay, so the fourth hack I'm doing, I'm really excited because I've always wanted to do it. Okay, so the TikTok's right here and they're supposed to be floating candles. I don't have like a fishing wire or whatever, but they might just be regular candles. Also, here's the catch. You need hot glue for this. I don't have hot glue. I'm going to be attempting to use Elmer's glue. This is what you need. Acrylic paint, toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls. Elmer's glue, paintbrush. You need those candles. I don't have them with me right now, but I'll get them later. Scissors and a skewer to hold up the candle. Okay, first things first, get your toilet paper roll, get your paint and get your paintbrush and start painting. Here's my first toilet paper roll candle thing. I'm just gonna set it on the side. Okay, so once your toilet paper rolls are dry, it's time to put the hot glue or Elmer's glue on it. You know, we're gonna try it, okay? I think this will do pretty well because I think this looks pretty cool. Let these dry and just wait. Okay, hey, so they like kind of dried. I don't know. It didn't really work, but you know, I'm just gonna keep on doing it. You need your toilet paper roll candles, three skewers, scissors, and you need your candles. You also need a tack. So you're gonna take the tack, poke a hole. Now get your skewer, put the skewer in the hole. Then on the other side, poke the tack. Now you get your skewer, let it go through the other hole. Ah, it's supposed to look like this. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the sides. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your candle. Boom, you made your candle, wow. Okay, let's light it. Here is the finished product. Guess what, it's real fire too. The skewer thing didn't really work, but you know, I still like them. This lighting's really bad, let me just tell you. This is the fifth hack. So here's the video. Spider web origami. So this is what you need. Scissors, paper, and a pencil. Make your paper into a square. Fold your paper in half. Okay, now you see this point right here? You diagonally fold it to that point. Then you fold diagonally this way again. It should look like a heart. Then you fold in half again. It should look like this. Then you make a crescent shape and trim it. Then you mark lines. So the part shaded should be cut. Let's cut. Okay, so I just cut it and let's see if this worked. We have a spider web. This worked. Woohoo. My hair looks awful. Okay, so this last hack, I actually made this a few days ago. Yeah, I'll take you a few days ago with this one. Hi, and welcome to Lucy's Baking Shop. It's literally seven o'clock. Set. See, there's a rooster. So for my breakfast, I'm doing one of these recipes. I heard there's like that oat talk thing. So, you know, I want to do something with oatmeal and I wanted to see if they had any fall recipes or Halloween recipes for oatmeal. I'm using oatmeal and I'm making pumpkin pie oatmeal or it's like pumpkin spice oatmeal. Okay, but here's the catch. So I thought I had pumpkin pie spice, but it was actually apple pie spice. So I had to go to the store really quick and I got pumpkin pie spice. So here's the video of what I'm making. I don't have ingredients for everything, so I'm kind of using this other video too because I don't have pumpkin puree. Okay, so if you want to make some pumpkin pie oatmeal with me, this is what you'll need. You need to put in oats first. Brown cane sugar. Baking powder. Vanilla extract. I love the smell of vanilla extract. I don't know why. A pinch of salt. Okay, so the next step was pumpkin puree, but I don't have that. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I say it right. Pumpkin spice. Oh my God, it smells so good. Mm. Yay. Almond milk or milk of choice. Oh, would you look at that. Yummy. We are now mixing the oatmeal together now. Oh, it kind of looks cool. Wait. <laughs> I don't know if it'll like rise, but like, I don't know. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You know, it's pretty cool. Now it's time to put it in the nice toasty oven. This really smells good. I've never had oatmeal like this before. It's always just been oatmeal. Yay! 
oven light on. Ooh, now we wait for 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Now it's time for a taste test. This is pretty good. Oh. Okay, hey, thank you all so much for watching this video. You know, I love making these hacks. It was very fun. If you're new here, subscribe to be a grandkid. You know, they call me Grandma Lucy. Like, you can like or whatever, or comment anything you like. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see y'all next Thursday. Thursdays with Lucy, let's go. <laughs>